New details tonight. We are hearing from the family of a, a person uh, for the first time since they have announced that they are filing a $150 million lawsuit against Cobb County. Now, this all comes after police shot and killed their 17 year old son. Armara Siriani explains why they're attaching such a high dollar amount to this lawsuit. The Truett family thinks that amount of money would send a clear message. They're also asking the Cobb DA to put this case in front of a criminal grand jury and say if he doesn't do that, they'll be forced to take this one step further to the U.S. Attorney General. I am disgusted in the way Cobb County has handled Vince's murder. His rights was violated. The teen's mom emotional as she addressed the case and the lawsuit Thursday. Truett was just 17 years old when he was shot and killed by a Cobb County officer. The officer told investigators the teen had jumped out of a stolen car and pulled a gun. Boy, down there. You pulled a gun out? Yes, sir. Okay. She okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Investigators say a pistol was found feet from the teen's body. The video shows, though, that a second person in the same car had also run in the same direction as Vincent. His family insists the body camera video doesn't definitively show a gun in Truett's hand or him pointing a gun at the officer before he was shot. When the case was presented to a civil grand jury last February, they deliberated and found the officer was within his rights to use deadly force. Family attorney Gerald Griggs says a lack of training caused the defendant to use a as a force by shooting Truett in the back while he posed no threat. He also calls the case a civil rights violation. There is still time for criminal accountability. So it's time for Cobb County to cease with the talking and see us in court. I have reached out to DA Flynn Brody's office. So far, still no response, but we previously got a response from a Cobb County spokesperson who said they will be prepared to defend this case in court.